Hey yo, what is good guys? I'm Daily Shay, and we are back in the long dark as Signal Void has finally been released. Because I started off with such great weather in the middle of nowhere in the Worsaken airfield, I could clearly see like from miles around, right? Like I definitely knew where I was going. So as I was walking through, I just kept telling myself, if I just walk straight, eventually I'll find out where I can go, right? Like has to be something. All I know from playing in this region, you follow the path, you end up in two different directions. Right now, I can't see anything, so I don't even know which way I'm going. But either way, one spot, I mean, I'll say I prefer head into the, is that a cachet? Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're heading to the, we're heading to the Forsaken Airfield because here is the broken down house, and I'm coming in from this direction, which means the how the cabin is behind me. Okay, there's usually a hatchet here. There it is. Take that, and I'm gonna take some. You can warm up here, but I'm not going to, because I don't have the time, and it's just it's just way too cold for me just to sit here and freeze to death with some like fire going. Like it's just it's not gonna work. But good, I'm going the, the direct, but that is a good thing that I'm going the right way. It's still going to be a little bit of a travel, and I'm just, I'm just hopeful I get there. Because I did not know that the game spawned me that far out of, of the region. The only reason why, oh my god, we're in the red. The only reason why I'm like hesitant to, to find the the bunkers is oh god dude we're like we're starting to see things like <laughs> we're starting to like oh this is not good but we can make it will we can make it we got this far dude come on but the okay 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 come on man come on we can't we can't be like this right now we just gotta make it to the hangar that's all we gotta do we're just let's run it we're gonna run it. I know we got frostbite, dude. I'm sorry, but we had a really bad spot when we came in. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. Get inside. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's get inside and get naked. Okay. Take our clothes off, because I think we're... That's not helping us. All right, Will, you're in your undies. That should help. <laughs> oh, come on, man. We were just here. Boom, 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 boom. So I did what any sensible person would do. Obviously, I restarted the game. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's read it. Search and rescue. Hey, crew, as you know, we've been asked to provide SAR coverage for the rest of Great Bear. We're tapped into the existing radio transmitter system, but it's pretty old. The transmitter towers are scattered all over the lower island, including one we jerry-rigged right here at the Field 31 tower. The transmitter boxes are a bit prone to breaking down, but when power in good working order, each tower can cover a decent range, well beyond the region it's located in. Update your survey maps with the transmitter sites in Forlone Musk, Mystery Lake, Milton, expect to do annual maintenance. The wire and batteries seem particularly fragile, and we've had some trouble with fuses as well. Testing continues, but initial reports have picked up some signal interference, unusual transmissions, and the fall locations in Lower Great Bear. In Bleak Inlet, home of the Canary site, Pleasant Valley, we have determined where, somewhere in the Hushed River Valley. Without these transmitters working, we have a hell of a time locating any transponder signals from crash planes or whatever, so we need to stay on top of this. Captain Redrick, 14th Wing, S-A-R. Okay, so we need to go to Forlorn Musk, Mystery Lake, Milton, and then Pleasant Valley, Hush River Valley, and Bleak Inlet. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. Everything's, like, on. Whoa. 
Look at that. That is so cool. I know I'm like dying of hypothermia right now, but I just want to like... Can we just look at this, man? That is awesome. Okay, how does this work? Repair metal parts, okay. Let's see how this all works, guys. This is really cool. It's like really, really cool. I actually really like this a lot. Repair the fuses. So we need three fuses per, okay. Three fuses and then five scrap metal and then three wire, three wires? One, two, maybe two wires. Oh, grab this battery. Yeah, 33 pounds. Yeah, who is carrying a battery in this game? Like, if you are the type of person that's going to carry a battery in this game, comment below and tell me how you're doing. Because 33 pounds? My god. Okay, switch it on. Nice. And then close that. Looking good. Okay. Oh, it's the glimmer for Oh, man, I'm not going to sleep at all. Do I'm gonna get insomnia. Yeah. I'm gonna get insomnia. That's not good. But either way, we gotta take care of now of the the problem that we are freezing. So let's uh let's go deal with that. I know we're cold, but can we just look in here for a second? Like, look how cool that is. If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. I know, I'm sorry, I just I needed to look and see how everything looked. Okay. Now we'll get out. Okay, guys, so I pretty much dropped a lot of stuff into here that I didn't really need because I know that I'm going to be heading closer to Mystery Lake and I'm going to be probably stopping after after a while. I'm probably going to stop at the maintenance yard and I am going to need a lot of room for that battery because I'm, I'm pretty sure in Forlorn Moss, like, there's going to be no way I'm going to find a battery. Yeah, 33 pounds. Yeah, who is carrying a battery in this game? Like, if you are the type of person that's going to carry a battery in this game, comment below and tell me how you're doing. Because 33 pounds? Like, I just, I cannot fathom somehow, miraculously, there being a battery at the trans transmitter tower. I mean, if there is, great. But I just can't see it. So right now, it's terrible weather as usual because we're in this area. But I'm not gonna let it stop me because we got places to be, things to do. So we're just gonna go. I'm gonna do the shortcut route and um, try it this way. So we're gonna do that. Yeah, I, I wish the weather could be better, but that's just how it is in Forlorn. I mean, not Forlorn Mass, but that's just how it is here, unfortunately. <laughs> you always have to deal with weather like this. I don't think I've ever had a good day of weather in this game, in this region. Man, I can't not, you cannot, like, whoo, you can't see anything out here, dude. This is lovely. Just gotta get to the train depot. Just gotta get to the train depot. Woo, we made it to, made it to the train depot. That's all I wanted. That's, like, all I wanted to start the episode off with was us leaving to the train depot. Because to get to the train depot means we're doing well. Okay, so we're coming up to this bridge here, and before, when I came through here, I had to deal with a wolf, and it did get me. So I hope that if it's still here, I can just drop my decoy and it'll leave me alone. That's kind of like my, my objective with this, with this wolf. I assume it's still going to be here. Oh nice, got another flare. 
It's a bunny right there. I wonder if I can maybe push the bunny up closer. Hello, little bunny. Go the other direction. Can I scare you the other direction? Yes. No, 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 don't go on the rock, don't go on the rock. Oh, okay. That works too, I, I think. Did you, <laughs> did you just disappear? Rabbit's gone. Oh, that's not good. I don't know what happened to the rabbit, but I was gonna try to use the rabbit for, for this wolf that's still up here. I assume it's gonna be. They don't really change where they place the wolves. It's usually like on the left coming up. I came prepared. All right, wolf, where you at? I got. I'm gonna stay on this side just because I don't know where it's at. So I'm gonna try to stay over here. I'm not hearing it or seeing it. That kind of bothers me because I don't know where it's at. The one time that I bring a wolf some dinner, that's not me. It is not even here. <laughs> There's no way it's not here. Okay, that's, oh, that's a, those are rabbits. Okay, can you not scare me like that, <laughs> please? And thank you. <laughs> How is the wolf just gone? Okay, I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Like, there's no wolf, but okay. I mean, I'll take it. it means I'm gonna deal with it. Then that's fine by me. Also, I'm gonna use this flare until it goes out. At least we're getting warmed up in here. Like, that's a really good thing. I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. But we're about to go back in the core again, <laughs> and then we'll go into the next tunnel. Okay, let's kind of leave the cave. But yeah, come out of this cave. We should. Should have like another wolf that um wants to be up in our business, but now I'm kind of like confused because the area that we just walked through that should have had the wolf is isn't there. So now I'm like, like I know I'm on Voyager, but my last playthrough was Voyager, and I had wolves like daily, so. I'm just, I'm kind of nervous. I'm like, why, why is there no wolves? You know, like, where did they go? <laughs> huh. Interesting. Interesting. There is no wolf. Huh. My head feel thick. Okay. That's intriguing. That is very intriguing that there is no wolf. I'm gonna have to use another flare once I get into that tunnel. Climb this one. Eventually, I, I'm going to have a playthrough where I actually remember mounting a rope for uh, this part here. So I can just pretty much climb and not have to go through the cave. But I don't mind going through the cave because you heat up. And you get some some food at that fire that have, like little fireplace they have set up so it's not like terrible okay here we go nice okay come through here can this door even shut no it can't all right Already warming up. That's a good thing. I don't know if you guys will be able to see anything, but 
have the flare going on because I need a lantern, which I'm pretty sure when I get to the cabin in Mystery Lake, I'll be able to find a lantern there. I'm really happy to be going back to Mystery Lake, to be honest. I love that cabin. It's one of my favorite spots in the whole game. And I actually really like the cabin that is in the Forsaken Airfield that I stayed in quite a bit because, I mean, both cabins honestly are my favorite. I think I like it so much because you can do a lot surrounding it. Like you can go fishing and everything. Is there possibly anything I could use here? No. But I like it because you can like go fishing. A random pry bar just chilling there. A marine flare. But I don't know, I just I like those two cabins because man, you can you can pretty much survive for a while there. Like you can go fishing a lot, set up like traps. Oh, thank you, Villasar Lantern. I mean, I'm sorry for what happened, but now you can keep your scarf. But thank you for the lantern. That's what I need. But I don't know, I just I really like both of those cabins a lot. Like I haven't found another place where I'm like really interested in like I am with those two cabins because you can put up so many rabbit snares, you can craft a lot of things, you have um, like a workbench in the cabin at the Mystery Lake, you can go to the airfield, use that workbench, you can just do a lot. And both cabins really you don't have to deal with wolves as much. I mean I think Mystery Lake you probably have more wolves because it's like right off the fishing lake. But you can usually avoid them. And probably an airfield usually has more bears. But still, like, it was just so convenient, so nice. Comment below and tell me uh, what places you guys like. Or places that you prefer to camp at and stay at. We have a rifle cartridge, but honestly, I'm not even going to pick up the... Oh, I'll take the flare. That'll come in here. I'll take the chips. But, like, honestly, like, I've yet to find a rifle, so I don't really feel the need to carry ammo. I think it's just, like, a waste of space. I mean, it's a chocolate bar, but I'll just leave it. But just, like, a waste of space to me. Because, again, like, I just don't ever... Do I want to go this way? Because, honestly, like, I never find weapons in this game. So... It's just in me like a waste of space to carry ammo until I until like I actually get it. Cause I'd rather just collect the ammo until like the potential of getting it. Um, I don't know if I want to go this way. I guess I can. I'm already here. Let's salute him or her, possibly. Nothing. All right. All right, make sure I got my decoy. Okay, set. And I'm gonna drop it. There you go, dude. Have a good day. I'm gonna go this direction. Enjoy your, enjoy your food. Enjoy your food. He shouldn't come after me because I have food. Like, I dropped a decoy, so he shouldn't be coming after me. But just in case, we're gonna come in here. And we're gonna sit in here for a second. Just in case. <laughs> just in case, because I don't trust that. I better take this food. Oh, this is the cachet. I don't think I've ever, like, had this. I don't think I've ever went and, like, got the cachet. Like, I know I could. I just never have. Oh, I already looked in there. Oh, uh, I'm actually gonna take these because I want the... I want the leather so I can repair my boots. So I think I'm gonna definitely go to Forlorn Musk. I, I really I really might be crazy guys and bring the battery with me like I'm not even joking I think I might and then I think I kind of want to do possibly mountain town next but I could go to Pleasant Valley it's just gonna be so far away but I'm gonna be backtracking a lot if I do Pleasant Valley but I know I'm definitely gonna do at least forlorn musk next oh my god you can actually go on here Hold on. Forest talkers. 
Mr. Dennis, we're out in the hills above the coastal highway this morning when we saw a couple guys mess with our truck. We chased after them, but they had a head start and scampered away before we get back up there. We found an old knapsack nearby with some papers in it talking about forest talkers. Some kind of new green group, I bet. They must have done something to a truck as it was bucking and lurching after that drive back to the lake. Including over the trussle. We figured water in the gas tank, but no matter, it was damn scary. What is management plan on doing about these guys messing with us? Are you going to back us up? J. Baltimore crew number two. Oh, I didn't even know you could like interact with with this. That's news that's like completely news to me. Did not know that you could interact with that. Okay, we're probably gonna I'm gonna try to use like another decoy when I get out here because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be that wolf back. Or not? Okay, well, I'm not questioning it. I'm going to go. <laughs> uh, yep, not going to question that at all. I'm just going to go on my merry way. There's a corpse in that gated area right there, but there's no point in searching it because there's never anything in. But I think there's a no, actually, so maybe I should go in there. Let me check it. I think there's a no in here. Okay, get inside. Oh, there's not a corpse in here. Okay. I told him to head that way, but stubborn soup in sometimes. Oh, yeah, I had this night before. I will take it. But there used to be a corpse right here. Okay. News to me, I guess. I, there used to be a corpse there. Okay, so now we're going to head... Two forlorn musk. I know, I know, guys. I know I look dumb carrying this battery. I get it. But just hear me out. There's there's definitely not going to be battery next to that tower. I just, I don't see that happening. I don't see the game being like, here's everything you possibly need every single time you do a transmitter. I just, I don't know. I've played so many games. I've been doing this for so long that I just, I, I don't trust it. <laughs> so I'm going to bring the battery with me. And then... Maybe if I get there and the game's like, oh, here's everything you need for this next transmitter and Forlorn Musk, you didn't need to carry a battery, then I will be like, you know what? Okay. All right. I, I see that I made a dumb mistake and I carry it with me, but it's the thought that counts. So I hope that I'm going to be proved wrong when I do get there. Okay. This is probably like the lightest I've ever carried on day five in this game. Like by now I would have so many things on me, like so much food and water and crap I don't even need and like cloth, like 12 things of coal. Like th this is like basically nothing that I'm carrying because of this battery, but I'm, I'm taking the risk. I'm taking the risk. Oh, careful, careful. I don't want to break our damn ankle, dude. Take that. It should go straight to that, because it was looking right at me and it was running after me. It should take that. Are you fucking kidding me? That's... No, that's messed up. Are you joking me? Oh my god. So, okay. <laughs> I dropped the decoy. Because it was looking right at me. It was charging after me. I dropped the decoy. How did, how did that Things not work? <sighs> okay, I'm going to drop that one too. I don't understand how that did... How that worked out. Oh, great. I wasn't even... Are you kidding me? Okay, well, we're done. Because I'm not gonna... That makes no sense, dude. I'm on Voyager. And... I used the decoy. It was looking at me. It was charging at me. I used the decoy. And then I ran from it.
And then on top of that, it attacked me. And then the knife I had, that was 100%, didn't actually do anything. And so then I passed out. And then I wake up. And then the wolf is still there. I drop the next decoy. And then it attacks me. Okay. I decide for the third time that I wanted to actually go in and see if I can complete it. So surprisingly, when I did that, I ended up finding a bow and arrow in a cave adjacent to a Forsaken Airfield that I've never been in. I was very shocked that the game gave me this early on because in every playthrough I've had, I've never gotten a weapon and I never played long enough to be able to craft anything. So I was just very shocked that I had that weapon for the first time ever. Now, I did end up taking the risk to look for a cache during the Mora. I was at risk for hypothermia and I was exhausted, but I ended up saving my game before I did this at a good spot. So in case anything happened, I came out of my game and came back in. Because I didn't want to take the risk of dying and having to restart over again. And I don't know, you can call it Gina if you want, I don't really care. I was just like, I cannot die. So I did this about four or five different times, looking for this cache. I exited the game, came back in because I just did not want to die and have to restart all over again. And when I did end up finding the cache, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit disappointed because all it was was just like a couple flares and some flashlights. Like to me, that was not really worth it for how much like you have to look for it. And I mean, maybe it does change per game. I don't know. Combo and tell me you guys find anything different in your cache. For me, I didn't find it worth it. But what I didn't find worth it was somehow the game decided to give me a revolver, which I was very shocked because again, I never get weapons in this game, like ever. My entire playthrough of ever playing this game, never get a weapon. So I was really, really shocked that the game not only gave me a bow and arrow, but also a revolver. On top of that, the game also gave me a military coat, which again, shocked me because that's a very good item to have, so it's an early game. I also got the new items, the hockey jersey and the aviator jacket. So I was looking pretty good. However, I ended up dying again because of the wolf. So I had to start again for the fourth time. I found a new place that has a cache next to it. But now that the war is out again and I found a home, I'm going to see if maybe something else comes up. Let's see. Let's see if I have anything that's going on. I don't want to venture too far because the cache that I did find brought me to here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything out here. Let me do like a quick circle. I don't want to like go too, too far, but I know this is where you end up at the end after you get all the transmitters to like a hidden like secret bunker. But yeah, there's definitely nothing over in this side. Okay, let me go back. I did find a cache though near here but honestly i could not show you guys where it's at because i i thought it was the cache by the shed at the forsaken airfield so i followed it and it took me to basically the middle of nowhere it was just empty field nothing surrounded me it was not a uh not a good time and yeah it did not work out <laughs> as planned um okay so let's go back inside but where am I at again? Do I have coal on? Yeah. Let me use this. I've never been here. Let me survey. Need to find some place to escape this I'm at Justy's hovel, which I believe that somewhere down here was the, the cache because I came up from here and I went through here, which is this, there's nothing here. It gives the indication that there's caves, but it's actually not caves. It's just little crevices of the mountain. So it gives the impression like, oh, it's a cave, but it's not a cave. So I went here to the caves and then I crossed over and into here, which works because there is a rope somewhere that is nearby. Um, and like I said, this is where you end up at whenever you... Turn on the transmitter, you'll get a secret bunker. Had some food. Of course it's burnt. <laughs> I I wasn't even that long. I, I was out there for like a few minutes. It only takes like 15. Okay, let's just drink some water. I didn't want to actually 
Um, search this place until you guys are able to see it as well. Okay. Um, we might as well just cook up the coffee. Because we, uh, yeah, here's a note. Because, and I was trying to, like, turn the radio on. Because I was sitting here and I was trying to make a fire because I was freezing to death. And I was like, what is this sound? And I looked behind me and the war, like, was on. Um, which was crazy because I was in the glimmer fog for, like, the entire time. Oh, I will just leave that there because I will take that in the morning. And we'll read the note in a second because I want this to... Is that music playing? That was music playing, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Hmm. Okay. Drink some coffee because we kind of have insomnia right now. So we're going to be up pretty much all night dealing with... Dealing with that. So it's going to be a fun time. I swear I just heard music. I swear. I, maybe I'm just hearing things. Maybe I'm going crazy out here. Yeah, the radio's playing music. Huh. Okay. Let's read this. Seeing the helicopters come over the mountains again this year, I counted three last month and two already this month. Always as the weather turns colder, I know they can't all be tourists. Not anymore and not for long anyway. I did eventually end up making it to Forlorn Muskeg. And from there, I had the epiphany that during the war, there should be at least one cache, correct? Because there are two in Forsaken Airfield. Lo and behold, there are no caches. I walked around this entire area multiple times looking for something. Nothing came up. I even used the blue signal, which I knew was hopeless because there's no bunker here. But I still used it because I was like, there has to be something. There's nothing. So I, I don't know about you guys, but I know for me, I found nothing here. So I was kind of disappointed in that. But nevertheless, it was okay because I know that at some other locations in the game, I can use the radio and find bunkers and find caches. And honestly, Forlorn Muskeg gives you so much resources and materials that it's okay we don't get cache because there's so much here already. So as usual, I basically just tuned in for the night and took care of Will because that's what you gotta do. You can't just let the man die. So I took care of him for a little bit, made sure everything was good to go. I was lucky enough that I did have a flare gun on me that I found in the Forsaken Airfield because it came in handy in Forlorn Muskeg because I kept coming across wolves, which is normal because even though there's a lot of reward, there's a lot of risk in Forlorn Muskeg because you're constantly dealing with wolves. But again, you get a lot of good stuff. So I basically just shot like two flares at this wolf and then i decided i'm pretty much just gonna have to run run for it and when i was walking around i heard other wolves and i remembered from my other playthrough that i did a long time ago that there was like a couple other wolves who sit on top of the hill and of course this wolf was like relentless right so i was kind of nervous i'm not gonna lie to you guys but i was pretty nervous coming up here because it kind of made me think, like, again, from previous playthroughs, this usually has, like, three to five wolves that camp around here. But surprisingly, there was no wolves. So I was really shocked to see that there was nothing here except just one wolf. I don't know if that was because of the fact that we're essentially doing, like, a challenge almost. I was okay with it. I was fine. And I was also really happy that I found food and water because my character... Uh, I always run out of food because I pretty much was carrying nothing on me because I was carrying the battery because I did not trust this game to give me a battery while I was up here. So I decided that, hey, I'm just going to carry the battery and pretty much have nothing on me. So I was able to <laughs> repair the transmitter with the battery that I carried on me, as well as all the wire and the scrap metal and whatnot. Because again, I just did not trust this, get this game to give me my needed, because my logic was, where are you going to get a battery at in Forlorn Muskeg? And so I kept thinking to myself, if I need a battery, where would I go? And that means I would have to go towards like the maintenance shed area where all of the cabins are. But usually in that area, there's always at least a bear and a couple timber wolves and some regular wolves. So you'd have to go through a lot, right, to get a battery. So yeah, I was the I was a crazy person who I just I legit carried a whole battery from 
the Forsaken Airfield all the way to Forlorn Muskeg. And that is a travel. That is a travel. So I I was taking the risk of I'm going to fix these transmitters and pretty much have nothing on me. And I'm just going to carry this battery. Because, again, I'm going to keep saying it. I just did not trust the game to actually give me something. I expected the game to give me, like, two pieces of scrap metal and be like, figure it out, you know? So, yeah, I fixed this transmitter and I was super excited that I got that fixed. And I was ready to just get this one done over with so then I can head to the next area, which was my plan was Mountain Town. I want to know, right now, was it worth me actually carrying this battery all the way? So... Let's just see. Let's just see. Got some matches. Okay. Because right now, I don't see how I could have gotten a battery. Yeah, there's nothing here. Supply bin. Okay. Oh my god. So you do get... So you get everything you pretty much need, almost. Because we need three fuses and five metal bits. And we need the wires so you don't get exactly everything but you do get the car battery it looks like so it looks like you do need to find fuses and carry them with you that's where you gotta be okay it was a little tricky getting here for me just because of the fact that from here to here there was a bear and a couple of wolves but okay i technically could go to bleak inlet based off that map but i i don't know if i want to because i purposely planned out what i was gonna do because i wanted to save um bleak inlet for last because it's a harder terrain And then reload, and there we go. Okay, so he he did he did get up here. <laughs> he can get up here. Um, now we're just gonna run it. I thought this was like up here somewhere. It was like where you go. Okay, I'm getting ready for him again. Come on. What? That should have. That should have scared him. How'd that not scare him? Okay. He's like, you got me one time, that's enough. He's like, I'm not scared of the flashing anymore. Okay, reload real quick. Catch a breath. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be done if it comes to me. How did that not scare him? Oh, it did, but he went the way I didn't really want him to go. Okay. Reload. Come down here. Catch a breath. Get down here. Great, and there's a bunch over there. Fantastic. And we're running. Okay. Come on. We got a split second we can run here. Let's go through this way. Catch our breath. Run a little bit more. Come on. Make sure our gun's reloaded. Got five more flares. Just fine. And probably find more. Okay, we're gonna come through here. I really want to try to get to one of those uh, campsites, like one of those cabins, but I'm kind of in here now, which is not good because I don't really, I can't really see anything and it's not good because this place is like full of, full of bulls and I don't know if there's going to be another bear around here. I know there was a bear, pretty sure I lost that wolf. But I know there was a bear and I really like, guess on her I came in. But now I'm like, is there going to be another bear possibly somewhere? Hopefully not. And I'm really smelly, so that doesn't help. But let's just, let's just truck through. 
because I really don't want to sleep outside. I was originally planning on getting a campfire going. Oh, here we go. I was planning on, this might be what I was looking for, which is to bleak and lit. Which I really, I don't think I want to do bleak and lit, but possibly. Oh, this isn't bleak and lit. Hold on, I'm gonna make sure there's no freaking bears in here. Oh, this is just a cave. Okay, thank God. Yeah, okay. Well, this isn't a bear cave. If it's a bear cave, that's not gonna be a good time for me. Is that an MRE? No, just stone. I know you guys probably can't see it, but... Okay. Oh, this isn't a freaking bear cave, dude. Oh! That's what it wants me to do. It wants me to travel... Okay. That's I think what it wants me to do. Okay, let's just follow it. I think I think this is the bleak inlet cave. I'm pretty sure. I think that's what it wants me to do. I think it wants me to follow. Okay, so this should bring me to peak to bleak inlet. I don't know why I said peak. <laughs> that makes sense. This should, should bring me... Yes, okay. So in that case, now let's test the theory. Yep. That's exactly what's happening. Oh, that is so cool. I see another radio tower on the left in the distance. So let's just keep- oh, there's a wolf right there that's dead. I'm really nervous being in here, so I don't want to spend too much time and I'm basically just here to get my thing and leave. I'm not going to talk so I can focus on the sound. Oh my god, here we go. We got one. We found a bunker! I'm actually like... Okay, so can confirm when you do find something automatically never comes up again, so... Which is nice, because then it won't confuse you when you are looking for stuff and then end up finding one you've already been to. Okay, so let's see what's in this bunker then. So then this technically should be... Bunker Alpha. Yes. Wow, dude, we freaking... We made it in here. Okay, so does this flashlight actually work? Hope nobody needs this anymore. Do I have a battery for it? I do. Nice, okay, that's gonna help so much. Okay then, so let's check out Bunker Alpha, guys. Okay, let's go in. Is this supposed to be empty? I assume, right? Okay, we're also looking canned ham. That's and canned corn. That looks new. Okay, I'm, but I'm looking for the files. Apparently, you're supposed to find files in here. Apparently, you're supposed to find. You're supposed to find the security port and a patient interview. Those are two things that like you're looking for. So, where is it at? Okay, interview. Session five, project medical officer interviewing patient seven. Let's visit the second instance again. First occurrence. What do you remember? Uh, the sun was out, but it was cold at the river's edge. There was a group of us that day. <laughs> Lots of laughing, yelling. Summer in our heads. <laughs> no one was getting in the water. I guess I liked being first. I didn't even, didn't even jump. Just <laughs> slipped in quietly away from everybody. 
Uh, the water was clear, but bitter cold. I thought the bottom was closer. My head went under right away. God, I was a lousy swimmer. Uh, no one noticed me struggling in the deep pool. Carry on from where you were last session. Find the ending sequence. What do you see? Oh, uh, my hand reaching for a flat gray stone at the water's edge. I, I grabbed it. I pulled my head out of the freezing water. <sighs> a breath. <laughs> the sun shining through the trees. Above us was... Was the sun out? I thought... Uh, the rain. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know. That, w that, that wasn't it. Keep hold of that image. It's okay if it fades a little. Breathe. Try going again. Second instance. Dude, that is crazy. Okay, so we... Okay, so that is... That's crazy. Okay, I don't want to loot just yet because I'm still looking for things. Now I'm looking for the security report. I guess we can turn this off for a second. Like I said, I'm not going to loot just yet because I'm looking for the security port. Okay, let's look around. Okay, um, let's keep looking. Okay, containers, containers, containers. Oh, the security port? Yes! The mine is a real shithole. If my job is to shepherd the men, then their job is to keep the roof roof from landing on all of us. But this week we found a decent chamber to start building Rudiger's gadget. Teams one and two are with the program, but on shaky ground. Team three is getting volatile again. And while it's unclear what they have planned, I've called for additional security to fly in immediately. The medical officer has been condu conducting alignment interviews and has made some troubling observations. I'm still, I'm still considering the implications, both for the men as well as project viability. My hope is that the crew can keep their shit, shit together long enough to finish phase one and we can get out of, out of this godforsaken place. <sighs> it's starting to get to me. Okay, so they were doing some sort of experiment here, which was pretty wild that they were doing experiment out here. Um, it looks like they were interviewing certain people as well. I'm not going to take every single thing with me, honestly, because I don't need a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm definitely going to take cloth and whatnot because I want to repair everything. Possibly make some more bandages. Don't need that. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and loot. Got a new bedroll? A bedroll? Okay. Now we can now we can loot and see what we're working with here. But yeah, it seems like they were interviewing people for some reason and some of the people were going crazy. But that is just that's wild to me. I didn't it's it's so funny because I mean you guys can't see it, but I wrote down like my plan of attack for this because I'm not very familiar with certain regions because I never have been in them. And so it's crazy to me that literally the last thing on my list is end up in Bleak Inlet for a signal, which is Bunker Alpha, and then head all the way back to the um, Forsaken Airfield region because of the fact that I didn't want to, um, I didn't really want to be here, <laughs> honestly, just because of the fact that Bleak Inlet, like I'll show you guys the Bleak Inlet map. And the stuff I was getting from the Bleak Inlet was it was like a really hard terrain to work with. And I didn't want to go through a really difficult terrain. And we got corn and ham. Like that's new. What's it even say? Ready to eat safe and portable ham. But that's just that's just wild to me. That uh <laughs> I was planning this completely last, like but I wanted to follow the signal to see if that's actually, like, how it was going to work. Like, I wanted to know for myself, like, is that actually how it works to test it? And, yeah. It ended up working. I see the... I think it's the town over there. To my left. I mean, I could go there instead of sleeping in the bunker because I saw no... When it's... 
like daylight. But right now I'm looking for this cache. I'm about to go underneath this. And then go around. I'm actually going to check out that hunter's place too. Might find a weapon. It's very unlikely, but it's worth a shot. I just want to look for a gun. Is there a gun, possibly? Got a knife? No, I don't need a knife. Okay. Didn't really give me what I was looking for. Oh no, I lost it. I lost it. Is it because I'm losing the war? It might be. It might be because the war is going away. Man! Missed out on a cache. And now the weather is absolute garbage. Yeah, the war is pretty much going away, so I don't think we're going to find it. Yep. And now the weather's garbage. And I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> okay, uh, is it possible... Let's go check out this hunter's thing. Is it possible I could escape the cold for a little bit and sleep there? Because now I cannot see anything. And I don't really know this area at all. Okay, that is so much better, and that helped with my warmth. I will take that. Um, transmitter's up there, which is good. We're just gonna head back through the cave, because I don't really have a reason. I mean, I could go through... I could, I could possibly go through the ravine, but I don't really want to, because I don't really need to, because I need now to go to Mountain Town, Pleasant Valley. Which, to get to Mountain Town, I can go through Forlorn Musk. So I was saying, um, so that we could possibly sleep here through the night, get some food in us, and... Or maybe we don't even have to stay here, honestly. I could just eat some food, take care of myself, maybe sleep for like another hour, maybe. Yeah, we got like 52 minutes to ready. Oh, that's only 36. Maybe not. <laughs> um, but then do that and then end up going back through the tunnels, go through Forlorn Musk, and then cross through Forlorn Musk, go back to where I was in the beginning, and then end up at the area where you go through to get to Milton. It, it was it was a bit of a challenge. <gasps> Jesus oh my god oh my god you do not understand you guys don't understand right now if I had a heart rate monitor on right now oh my god if I had a heart rate monitor you guys would have seen that shit spike up whoo I swear I thought that was a freaking wolf I swear to god I thought that was a wolf and then I was like, why are there wolves in here? Um, okay. Well, now that I had my almost heart attack of the day because of a bunny, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep on keeping on. <laughs> Whoo. Whoo. Oh my gosh. I was, I was not ready. Like, I, I know I can see in front of me, but I was so distracted talking and I, in my mind, I'm like, okay, there's no caves and, you know, there's no wolves in here. Like, it's fine. Like, we're fine. And, uh, we were not fine. Let's make this fire. We're just gonna stay out here for the night. I mean, I wish I could have found a cabin. I mean, I know that there are cabins around here that work. But we should be fine. If the wolf wasn't there, I probably would have walked a little bit further to see. But we'll be all right. About two hours and 50 minutes. Okay, so we'll sleep for two hours. We're just gonna do this on repeat until like pretty much daylight and we can start walking. Man, what a freaking sight. This game is so pretty. I'm kind of curious. Like, I'm not actually gonna go look for anything, but I am curious if anything is gonna come up. No, nothing comes up. Which is fine. I don't really wanna do too much with that. Okay, let's just sleep for the next two hours since we're near here. And then we should be good. Should be good. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, man. 
and we can head out. Actually, I think there, I think there is a building right there I can go check out. Maybe some more food, possibly. Actually, let's just sleep for another hour. We might as well. I mean, we have another hour in the campfire. Oh my god, is that a revolver? Oh my god. How is that cooked? Hold on. And I got right. Oh my god. How did I get. Okay. Okay. I mean, okay. Was not expecting that. Oh. Wow, man. If I would have had this where I went up there, I could have just opened up the whole friggin' map. I'll be honest, I actually got lost in this cave because I thought there was a way that this connected to Mountain Town, and I'm sure it does based off of maps I've seen, but honestly, I just got lost. I came out through Marsh Ridge and ended up deploying the rope thinking that this was how I got through. I was completely wrong because I ended up back into Forlorn Muskeg and it was it was it was not a good plan. So I ended up re changing my plans once again and decided that it was best for me to just continue through Forlorn Muskeg go into Mystery Lake, and then from Mystery Lake, end up at the dam, and then from the dam, go into Pleasant Valley. And then that's how I can connect myself to Pleasant Valley. Because I didn't really want to go to Mountain Town after I made up this mishap. So I was like, maybe, maybe I just have to go Pleasant Valley. Like, maybe it's a sign that I'm messing up this badly trying to get into Mountain Town. That was just going to Pleasant Valley. Uh, that was actually not a good sign because I ended up in Mystery Lake as planned, but I had to take an emergency stim just to run here because I was really low on food. I had no food and my, and I was pretty much at risk of hypothermia. I was not looking good. So I pretty much just ran here as fast as I could just to get something, anything to approach take care of our guy, which I did end up finding some stuff and that did help me. I did get some sleep. So he was pretty much good to go and taken care of, but I definitely had plans for the next episode that we're going to be at the Carter Dam and then we're going to go into Pleasant Valley. So I hope you guys subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.